practice has been going uh, really well in London as well. As a team, I feel like we're just meshing really well. Maybe it's just because our comms are going well or we just feel comfortable with whatever situation, but st uh, stuff feels really good right now. The teams are so tight right now, but G2 always plays well and comes up with uh, the victory when they need it. So I feel really good about the upcoming game. Every midfield ball right now. Complexity. They're getting boost off. They're starting to run out. Now Metza. Down the sideline. JNAPS is there a lot. Going to try to take his time here. Gets blocked by oh! Jay. I absolutely love the crowd here at these events. I'm very lucky to have so much support and I think the team is very lucky to have so much support. It's very encouraging and I definitely uh, feel very positive whenever one of us will score a goal and I can hear the crowd roar. It's very encouraging and I, I really just want to score more goals and keep pressing everybody. Let's go G2! So this crowd is definitely behind G2. Every single picture I took, I was like, who are you rooting for? G2. Inspection from G in the backboard, just waits his time, takes a shot, crossbar, it's bouncing, he'll finish it off, that's the lead for G2. All the way to JNAPS, over to Kenobi. Classics has it towards the goal, Rizzo's there, he's got full boost, but he misses, here comes Kroll, can he put it in, keep it alive, he does! Evil geniuses, nobody believes it! But they stay alive and G2's going home! Going on to our second match with Evil Geniuses, we were definitely very confident going into that matchup. Um, I don't think we've ever lost two Evil Geniuses um, before this event, but for some reason we just we couldn't hold it together. They did a good job coming back and getting a lot of bumps. Um, there were lots of demos we really had a hard time avoiding and I think that really got to us, so they did a good job. It's actually very surreal that uh, I get to travel around the world with uh, my son Jacob. I've been uh, having a great time at the event, it's been phenomenal. So for me now, and where Jacob's 18, he can travel on his own, but uh, when he says he's going somewhere, I, if I can get the time from work, I, I want to go because I love seeing him playing and love the events. So uh, as long as I can, I'm going to continue to travel as much as I can with him. I think what we can do better next time is just practice a lot more than we already did. We practiced a decent amount, but I, I always feel like we could have practiced more on these setups, practiced more in front of the crowd, being on stage, and really just practicing, like trying our best in that moment. Because there are times where we might be down in a game and we just, we just find a way to come back because we really start, you know, reaching for that win. And if we can just start our series and start our matches reaching for the win right at the beginning, we would be unstoppable. He's proven himself, and so now he's well on his way. Yep, so we support him all the way. Yep, we are his biggest fan, bar <laughs> none. Definitely. Meeting the fans at the fan meet and greet definitely helped with the loss yesterday. Uh, there were so many fans, we couldn't even get to like one-fifth of all of them. And yeah, it's, it's just crazy how so many people look up to us. I hope we cannot disappoint them next time. To close out the event, obviously I'm not quite happy with the final performance, but London in general has been amazing, and the event has been amazing, the venue's been amazing, the fans have been amazing. There's nothing I can really complain about other than my own performance. Overall, this RLCS was one of my favorites. The crowd was the best it's ever been. The arena was crazy. The weather's been nice. It's my first time here, I've loved it. And overall, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. So something that makes them extremely unique as a team is they all get along very well. You know, they're one of the few teams where they don't bicker or argue behind the scenes. They 
they are actually friends with each other. No matter if they lose 3-0 or whether they do extremely poor in a match, it's just they always they always come together. Like they kind of have like a unity. And I think they're the second longest withstanding roster besides complexity. And uh, it really speaks out and shows in their gameplay that a team that can stick together and go through the highs and lows, uh, it really pays off in the end. I just want to thank the fans for always rooting for us, always supporting us, no matter if we're winning or losing. And uh, we'll come back stronger next time.